Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how to use the reactive screen components in a screen flow to create a mortgage monthly payment calculator app. So uh, we need to get the, these inputs from the users like the loan amount, term years, month and the interest rate. And based on these inputs, the monthly payment has to be calculated automatically on the screen itself. So you, um, everything should be on the same screen um, with this uh, reactive screen components. Uh, so let's see how we can create this app without any further delay. All right, uh, I have logged into my Salesforce org. So I'm on the flow menu. Let's create a new flow first. So that has to be a screen flow. Um, selecting a screen flow, creating one. And so we need only one component that is a screen component with this uh, reactive fields. So let's add a screen component here and just label it. What cage can uh, then so we need those inputs right so the loan amount has to be there loan amount terms months interest so these are the inputs from the user so for the loan amount so that has to be dollars currency right so let's oh okay so it will be like this so i don't want in this view what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a section here let's drag this section over here and i need two three sections and i'm i'm going to drag this section again uh, here also I need three columns let's see okay so we have two sections with uh, three columns let's uh, add the fields there so the first uh, column should be the loan amount right and next we have to have term that that is for years right so what i'm thinking is to have like a, a slider yep so let's see let's call let's call this as a loan amount okay and no decimal places and here Let's call this as term years. And the maximum range would be 30 years, 0 to 30 years. And here, the next section, I want months so months has to be a number field uh, let's try this let's call this as months so uh, as in the requirement says right so when they uh, select this years like uh, if it is 10 year or 20 years this month has to uh, update automatically based on this year selection so what can we do for that? So we can create a formula to do the calculation automatically here. So in this default value, just say, let's create a new resource and let's create as a formula field. Let's say, cal and this is a number data type and i don't need any decimal places so what's what should that be so in the insert resource just go there and select this term years that's a slider right so term years 
value multiplied by 12. Syntax that's valid. So it's like uh, the years, whatever the years that they are selecting uh, multiplied by 12 should be the months, right? So that's the calculation here. Done. So that's that's done. And on this next section, so I'm going to have a interest field. So interest is again numbers. That is the number. Let's call uh, that is interest. And so no default value and I need a decimal place here. Let's see. Uh, we are not going to do any calculations here. So based on this input, we are going to uh, do a calculation on the monthly payment. So again, the payment has to be a currency field. So let's drag currency here and let's call it as a payment so for this monthly payment calculation so we, we we are going to create a new formula here in the new resource uh, select a formula let's say uh, the payment and it has to be a currency and let's have two decimals that's fine so here it has to be loan amount multiplied by interest divided by months syntax syntax valid save all right so here, uh, I don't think we need to have this, but before this, let's uh, save this uh, this flow. Look it. Let's see how it works. And all right, so let's say the loan amount is 100,000. And the uh, term, let's say 10 years. So, 10 years. So, if you see this month based on my uh, selection here, it is automatically recalculating it, right? That is the newer feature introduced by Salesforce. So uh, for 10, uh, it's 120 months automatically calculated. And the interest, let's say 5%. So the monthly payment is around 4,000. Uh, so let's see. And as I change it here, here th this monthly, uh, just notice this monthly payment uh, field as well so it is changed as per the selection in the interest so let's say 5.25 and it's changing and if i drag the terms monthly payment is also changing and the months is also changing 
so yep all right so this flow is uh, completed so let's see how we can uh, use this flow into an app so let's uh, do some final cosmetic changes i don't want this footer at all uh, i'm going to disable this footer then save oh yeah that's okay just for the demo purpose i don't want the footer i'm going to activate it it's done let's go create a app it should be on um, app manager and new lightning app you the name for your app So if you have image then you can upload it to the description as needed and yep that's it here click on next uh, I think uh, all the default ones should be fine and utilities item desktop only no I'm not going to add anything over here I'm gonna leave everything as is go next and select profile so here we are selecting the profiles that uh, they can view this app so for now I'm just going to say system administrator since I am a system administrator <laughs> uh, yeah save and finish okay where is the app here it is so now uh, we are going to add a lightning record page to this uh, app so for that just uh, click on this pages selection and so this is the default page as of now but we are going to create a new page so that's the app page next let's call this as a calculator app page next uh, yeah let's just select header and the left sidebar so here i i just wanted to have a uh, not many components i don't want to have just i'm going to have this uh, flow over there that's it so this is my flow let's close this and select the flow that i we have created monthly payment calculated uh, it should be in the one column layout mm, that's it i think that should be it uh, let's activate it and it should be activated for all the users so and then on the lightning experience tab we have to add this lightning record page to a lightning app right so to our app we have to select our app here add page to app that's it i think that should be it okay So we have added the lightning page that we have created to our app so it should work 
saving it activated it i'm gonna save it all right uh, let's test our app by uh, launching it from the app launcher so i'm uh, i'm on the home page now uh, let's look for our app mortgage calculator app is there select it so okay so as we designed our lightning page right so it's just displaying the flow screen that we have so yeah we enter the amount and select the terms 11 years 132 is automatically calculated and the interest let's say 5.25 and this is the monthly amount it's close to eight thousand dollars so yep so let's be created a, a screen flow with this uh, reactive screen components and then we created an app lightning app then added uh, created a new lightning page as well and mapped that lightning page to our app and in that lightning page we called our screen flow we have created so that's it so yep uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments on this one uh, i'll be happy to help and that's all for this video thank you